What do you got there? <laughs> what do you got there? It is for the money. It's for the money. It's... This is like Ch Japanese or Chinese. You can't speak Chateau Russian. Chateau Jahu. Chateau Jahu, Dogfish's Ancient Ale series. I don't know much about ancient people, but they probably didn't say Chateau. They probably didn't say Chateau. And they probably weren't very uppity. But, <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is a 9,000 year old recipe, the oldest known fermentable recipe ever discovered. Yes? Before agriculture, before wheat. Yes. So, uh, molecular archaeologists back again to examine some pottery shards and kind of reverse engineer this recipe. The base malt is sake rice. Yeah. And it's got, let's see what's got in here. What's it got in here? Honey. Honey. Hawthorn fruit. What's a hawthorn fruit? Um, something that's ancient. It's ancient. And then at, in the last 10 minutes of the boil, they put a bunch of grapes, grape juice or um, some sort of grape, and they ferment it for about a month with mm. sake yeast. Mm. Look at so it go. This should be a very interesting. 50 degree bottle here. And um, we're not opening that one. Alan's getting stellar. It's actually supposed to be for my friend Jim Labs, but um, if he doesn't get here, it's going to go bye-bye. You'll notice that uh, the people of ancient times here, what, what they're showing you is that the tramp stamp is not a modern invention. It is not. The tramp stamp is an ancient cultural design. At least from 9000 BC, they had sluts. Yes. Might as well put a target on it. I don't know what that is, but they should have just put a bullseye on it. And um, yeah, man, that's this. This skirt's actually made of hemp, also papyrus. <laughs> True story. Let's get this thing in the, in the glass. Yeah. All right. It looks to me like it might be a mead. No. When they said grape juice, I was expecting something purple. White grapes, maybe. Mm. Well, they were green grapes that they actually put yeah. in the in the boil. That would be white. Orange blossom honey they put in there, like a thousand pounds. Was it shabby? It was no. It was um, um, bitto honey. You know, bitto bitto honey. All right, let's get a nose on this one. Oh, it does. It smell. You know what it smells like? Mm. It smells like sparkling cider. Yeah. Yeah, right? Sparkling Hi. cider. Hold on. How you doing? Spark sparkling cider, a little boozy. Hmm, what else? I'm getting a little apricot in there. Yeah, I was around for like some homemaking wine sessions. Mm -hmm. And it smells like uh, the grape juice before it's fermented. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What I get that. Fizz? Fizzy bubbly. Yeah. Alright. Let's give this a whirl, man. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> it's sweet. Little bit bitter. Kind of boozy. 10% alcohol. 10 IBU, so it's not going to be bittering from the hops at all. Mm. Mm. It feels like I just ate some honey. Yeah. It's really sweet, huh? Yeah. I'm, like, it feels like a honey coating in my mouth. Hmm. It, um, I even get some green apple, almost like it's a young beer. But it's ancient. Mm -hmm. So it can't be young. Aftertaste is not bad. No, and it's so, it's so easily drinkable. 10% dangerous. 10%. Huh? It's easily more dangerous no. than like the Reverend or something. Yeah, and the Reverend's 10%. Reverend's a, a Belgian quad. Um, it's actually sweeter than the Reverend. Yeah. Let's, let's not compare this, but whatever this style is. Yeah, no. Fruity. Though. Fruity. No, this is totally fruity. I'm getting apple, apricot, uh, even a little bit of guava, like real tropical fruits, some mango. Um, it's light but thick. Yeah. Yeah. 
I gotta, I gotta. See, we get disturbed during these videos. Yes, I have Annette's phone number. My girlfriend's trying to go to CrossFit tomorrow. She wants, she wants me to go to CrossFit, and I'm like, fuck that. I'd rather jog for 30 minutes. All right. Anyway. Um, no, it's good, though. I like it. I'm going to pour some more. It's, it's like a really, I, I, I don't even classify this as a beer. Like, well, they know. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. They say ale, but that's about it. It's an ancient ale, and uh, I, I think everything that they put in here imparts some really good flavors. It's, it's if you like fruity and sweet, um, it, and look at a cool combination coming right under the middle. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't, but it's cool. It's like a stream bubble, and it, it's not overly carbonated, it's just right. It, it, it's enough carbonation in there to um, kind of push the flavors around your palate a little bit. I wonder how it tastes a little warmer. Yeah, it may, it may um, come out more, more juicy, huh? Yeah, it is an ancient recipe. They didn't have, uh... <laughs> they didn't have refrigerators in 9,000 No BC. peace. But they did have, some really cold weather. They didn't have global warming and shit like that. Right? Mm. Dude, what's going on in here? It's bad. Werewolves. Just ghosts. Ghost. Ghosts, werewolves. Phone numbers. Tram stamps. Tram stamps. All of the above. I'm gonna... Uh, dude. You know what? I haven't given an A in a long time. I'm gonna give this one... I'm gonna give this one an A. I, I really like this. This is for those of us who must go towards the gluten free. Yeah. More friendly. More friendly. Totally, totally good. more gluten friendly. It's not, it's not specifically gluten free, but the base malt is sake rice. Mm -hmm. It's fermented with sake yeast, mm -hmm. um, and it's got a whole bunch of cool other stuff in it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so try this out if you can pick it up. Um, it's out right now. So go to your favorite liquor store. I'm gonna stock up, cause and it's not every day that you get something like gluten free and friendly that doesn't suck. Yeah, we've tried a couple gluten free beers. Holy shit, dude! More mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's it was yeah. like drinking uh, bubble gum and cotton candy inside some engine sludge. It was disgusting. That was fizzy. That was really fizzy. So um, it's it's this uh, or drink wine. Uh, yeah. And this drink, I mean, this is really drinkable. It drinks like a, an apple cider, um, and it tastes phenomenal. This is this is one of the better, I love this beer. That's probably the quickest I've ever drank at 10%. No shit, it's dangerous. Yeah, and it, it masks the alcohol completely. You don't get yeah. any of it. You don't taste it. You don't even get a warming. Do you get any... Any warmth no. from it at all? No. Smooth aftertaste. It's it's, it's good. And it, um, Hint of bitterness. Yeah. Perfect. It makes it more pleasant, actually. Yeah. Solid A. Solid A. Dogfish Head. Good job again on your ancient nails. Chateau Giahu. BP. Happy beer, dude. Out of here.